mean to you add them? A very good morning to you add them. My name is Utiti Jerome. I will be reviewing Biology Practical 2023 for West Africa examination. This is the list of the specimen from A to N. This study guide is specially designed for examination preparation alone, which can be used by the teacher or student. Please should not be used in the examination hall. As a student or learners, your teacher will provide you with some of this information listed here for the success of the examination. Important information as a student, you're supposed to know what is dosa view, the back, ventral, lateral view, anterior view, and the type of section we have in biology. That will help you to draw and identify effectively. Your diagram must have a title, magnification, neat label, which must be labeled horizontally using a ruler, and classification name must start with a capital letter. And please obey all the drawing rules. For example, specimen A, mature egg of a catfish. The observable features. Observable features simply means when you look at the specimen, what do you see? What can you observe physically? Small in size, round or spherical in shape, soft surface, absence of heart shame. The egg is covered with embryonic membrane. The color is yellow or brown. For egg of domestic fowl is bigger in size, over in shape, hard surface. Presence of calcareous shear, which means it's made up of uh, calcium carbonate. Egg could be brown or white in domestic fowl. Comparison between the egg of a catfish and that of a, a domestic fowl. The associated organisms of catfish, uh, why that of a um, domestic fowl? We have domestic fowl, duck, or guinea fowl. Fertilization is external in catfish, while in egg is internal. It's smaller in size and bigger also in size in, um, in domestic fowl. So you can look at the slide and identify what is written there. For classification, both of them belong to the phylum codata. They have a backbone. For the class, um, Catfish, the organism belongs to pieces, while in a domestic fire belongs to class apes. Specimen, um, specimen C, and I use a picture of model of an uterus containing a fetus. Uterus is the womb, fetus is the developing baby. The adaptive features and the function amnion, which is the innermost membrane, it has a mutic fluid, which is which protects for protection. The chlorion, the outermost membrane for oxygen absorption. A placenta, which anchor the embryo in the uterus. The umbilical cord. Uh, it, um, it supplies oxygen to the developing baby. Longitudinal section of ovary of pride of Barbados flower. Longitudinal section, this is exactly what you are going to see. The division is angiospermatophyta or magnilophyta. The class is magnilocida. 
this is the uh, uh, some features you see the division as stated the class stated symmetry bilateral symmetry which means uh, can be cut into two then you may be asked what is the symmetry and reason the placentation is uh, marginal it's at the, along the margins the cells it could be bacsexual or hermaphrodite the type of ovary is a um, superior ovary and the agent of pollination are mainly insect bees and butterfly Observable features of pride of Barbados, presence of brightly colored pectors, presence of large pectors, nectars are present, sticky stigma is present, presence of sticky pollen grains. And these are the adaptive features and, the, and their functions. Function. You can look at the slide and identify it. So summary of the flora part, as you can see in the slide. The flora part, the stamen, the carpet, the sepa, and the peta. Specimen, the leaf of pride of Barbados. Uh, flower, the leaf of pride of Barbados, you can see the observable features. Light green, midrib is present, parallel venation, brought over, apex or tip, smooth edge. Pictorically, this is how it looks like. The tip is broad, and diagrammatically, this is how it looks like. So, panicum plants, I choose guinea grass. It's a source of food, used for mulching, uh, provides straw for bed materials. Look at the slide, please, and identify. And the classification, you can see the classification. The agricultural classification is forage crop or the series. And the pictorial um, view, you can see this. Specimen G, the cocoa yam. Cocoa yam, uh, the, the method of propagation, comb or comb of cocoa yam. The type of life cycle classification is annual crop. Agricultural classification is a tuba crop. Economic importance, source of food. This is the pictorial view. Different between F and G, guinea grass and cocoa hairs are present, hairs are absence, absence of pectin, elongated narrowly. Look at the screen, please, and identify their differences. Basement G, palm of cocoa The observable features, board is present, remain of underground root is present, fibro root is present, scaly leaf is present. Note the, if you want to test for io, uh, starch, iodine solution can be used to test for starch. Uh, dry humus in Ibica, uh, specimen J and K, moist humus in Ibica. The comparison as stated in the uh, look at the slide, you can see the, the comparison between both of them. There might be other questions that may arise, but I believe you'll be able to answer it. Specimen L, ripe orange fruits. Um, the, the type of fruit is berry. Presentation is hazard presentation. Agricultural classification is a fruit. Life cycle classification, perennial crop. Propagated by seed, boarding, or grafting. Observable features, yellow in color, succulent epicap. Uh, when caught, that is a crop section. You'll be able to see um, the mesocarp and the endocarp. It has seeds, succulent hair present, placenta present. Specimen M, longitudinal succession of a coconut fruit. Uh, economic importance, source of food, rich in vitamins, used in industry for breverage making. It's a source of income to farmers and traders. Observable features, you're able to have hard endocarp, fibrous mesocarp, hard and brown outer covering, that is esocarp, you can also call it epicarp. The, the, they have edible and white. In, inside the endocarp, the, the inside you have the, is, is, is edible and white, and presence of coconut water. 
present. The type of fruit is droop. Droop. It's the longitudinal section of a fresh chili pepper, presence of epicap, presence of numerous small and white see, uh, seeds. If, uh, if the fruit is elongated with apis, fruit color could be green, red, or purple, and is a placentation. Uh, this is the uh, some parameters, the type of fruit, the economic importance, propagated method of dispersal, and life cycle classification. Look at the screen, please, and identify. Thank you for your time, and thank you for listening. I wish you success in your examination. Bye.